thank you by the way, uh, Devin. It's it's nice to see you after just one year later uh, than our first operation. Today we will do the rest of the operation. We did we focused on the frontal area in the first operation, and it was four thousand two hundred and fifty grafts. You had some hairs in uh, in your hairline, but they were weak. They were thin, uh, so you, it was not a good stylish hairline. Uh, so that's the reason we we focused on covering, but staying in the same hairline. Uh, it was a little bit wide hairline. That's the reason we use most of the grafts, just creating the hairline and giving the density there. But also we did some to the mid scalp and crown because we do not want to focus on just crown area in the second operation, which is not very successful. We need to do at least something to the crown area. In the second operation, it will be a complete, a complementary, uh, a complete surgery. Uh, because in each operation, it's good to use at least 30 follicle units uh, in the crown area to achieve a better result. So today, uh, probably before before this uh, video, I checked your donor area and it's nearly, again, 3,500, maybe up to 4,000 grafts we can extract. So with that amount, of course, if it will give you a much more better coverage. It will be never a full crown area but our expectation is just at least some hair in your uh, crown so it may give you a little bit more okay coverage yeah sure so how was your process your one year uh, yeah. after the operation how was it it was very good so i'm very you know i found the procedures very straightforward good. very informative your new instructions and your, your manual um all went very smoothly and the hair stuff to come through on on schedule so we're very pleased with the, the the success and um delighted to be back yeah good. It's, it's good hopefully it will be same in your next next year so you, you like billard billard or sneak so yes um i play a nine ball pool now on a on a worldwide stage and mm -hmm. I, I played a few events last year i'm for currently man number eight in the uk united kingdom and um, I went to Germany last year and played in the um, European Open. Uh, it was an event. Oh, really? Sky Sports, a match on which is broadcast all around the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was on the, the main, I had a, a, a very tough play in my first match, a Polish uh, player called Victor Zelensky, who's won multiple Euro tours and, and he's traveling all around the world and he's an mm -hmm. all-time player. And with my background as well, being a professional snooker player and a, and a very good nine ball player, mm -hmm. they saw the match up in the first round up out of 236 players and decided to put me on the lead TV table. So mm -hmm. I was on the television table with the um, commentators from America mm -hmm. and the UK and it was a very good match. It was a very, very close match and it, I just lost in the end, but um, mm -hmm. I played very well on the, on the TV stage. <laughs> and... Um, <clears throat> I was invited to play in the World Championships last year for Matchroom, so we've got lots more events this year um, on the around the world. Um, it's on the up now. Barry Hearn, who's the head of Matchroom, is now plowing lots of money into the into the pool world, so, and it's now going to be a very you know publicised events all, all all played in all different countries. So I'm looking forward to this year. I've cool. got my own table at home, which is well, oh, very good. I also want something like that. So I've got my own uh, in England they call it a man cave, which is I've got my own bar and I've got Ooh. a pool table. Really? Ah, your the bar in the testimonial it, it was a uh, yeah, my own home bar. Okay. Oh, yeah. um, it's called the Massey's Rack and Brewing. So mm -hmm. um, I've got a beautiful table. So if the conditions are perfect for me to practice, and so I'm I'm playing very well recently, and um, I'm looking to do very well on the world stage. Okay. Yeah. Good luck with that, but I'm in, I'm very interested in that man's cave issue. All the man cave course, yes. Uh, may, yeah, I was interested in in pool before, when I was young, when I was a teenager. At that time, it was uh, something very popular. Now I don't think it is so much because of the other the softwares, electronics, the pool games, probably. But uh, we also grow up with with pool. Uh, but then we give up. I think I, I can't play right now, but uh, it is good to have a pool table in, in your that cave with a bar. I think it, it's very interesting. Yeah, so I have my friends come around and we have a social you know, an evening and we have a few drinks and, and uh, have a game of pool. And um, 
it's this is the the best thing I've done, really. So, you know, gets me out of the house, and uh, you know, anyone in the house is happy with that. By the way, <laughs> well, I, sometimes my wife Rebecca, you know, calls me out there, say, "Come on, baby, you know, you need some washing up doing or uh, yeah. you know, some chores around the house." <laughs> um, but no, no, she she you know backs me with my pole, and you know she understands that I play events all around the world and. You know, I've, I've won some good prize money this year as well, which is good. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, she's very supportive. And, very good. Uh, you know, I'm a family guy at heart and I've got three three girls. So mm-hmm. um, they come first. Then the... Very good. Yeah, if you can balance it, yeah, you're right. Uh, so back to your hair. Uh, what uh, about the hairline? Do you want to change something? Or is there specific areas from the first operation that you want to be corrected? I want to also discuss these things uh to be what uh, what what do you really request from us? Yeah. yeah. No, I, ideally, um, I go on your advice. What you recommend? I want to try and get the maximum number of grafts possible. Either any areas you think might need to come from, um, just to make ideally just to sort of cover as best as possible, and, and maybe think it up a, a fraction. I think mainly it's a little bit thin at the sides here, with yeah. just in the middle. The front's very good, you know, and I. I've grown it long just the last few few months. I've another haircut, so I had did have a shorter, which is fine as well. So it's a little bit long for the time being, but just to really as as many grass as possible, you can extract okay. it from any area, and then it will look good on the TV company as well. I was going to ask it uh, because I also catch that thing uh, when you're playing the pool. Is there certain certain angles or certain shots that do that you want it to be? Uh, more covered for example i think just just the crown area as much as possible and just whatever you think's best to the best look <laughs> um so try and cover up you know i'm also uh, i'm interested if i have time i'm watching all snooker uh, tournaments in euro euro sport especially of course it is i'm a hair transplant surgeon and uh, my last maybe five six years is all traveling uh, watching TV, looking at people's hairlines, people's uh, receding. So it's something like when I met with someone, I'm just checking their Absolutely. hair condition. Of course, it gives me something for creating the most natural result with the patients. Uh, that's why I like to travel. It travels something like uh, knowing new people, looking their hairlines, how it should be. So I have some algorithms on my mind about yeah. how to do the hairlines or how to create the right things. Uh, so of course, when they play or even a football player when they have a video I, I'm seeing that how okay he needs something in the crown so a, a pool player needs something more for the crown area so I'm also always thinking like that too and I'll be excellent because um, I was a professional snooker player that's why I started off so I I, I play I grew up with one year Sullivan and played a lot of junior events I've, I've beat really oh Sean Murphy who's world champion now on television commentator and he's um you know, the top 10 in the world. I've had 143 break in the world championships. Mm-hmm. I was, you know, virtually on the break in for making a full-time career out of it, but just didn't quite happen for me. A lot of players and, and it comes the time of the family comes along and the wife. So, mm-hmm. but I've been a lot of the top players and um, got so far in the world. Okay. And I play my nine ball pool now, which is being the fundamental, the technique on the snooker table. To go into line the table helps massively, you see. Really? So it's like playing crazy golf and then going to like, you know, golf special golf or spell a crazy golf course. So mm-hmm. um the pockets are slightly big on American pool table, but if you can I've had maximum one four seven weight to snooker. Mm-hmm. Um if you can have a good technique of snooker, then that continues on to the pool table. Although there's lots more different shots and technical and safeties involved. So that all helps. Okay. Okay. Do you know anyone from Turkey, by the way? Turkish players? I know a few Greek players, Alex Gazakis. Um, I'm not sure there's too many Turkish nine ball players. There are there probably possibly might be. In uh, yeah, I, I, but the most popular uh, that I know, maybe there there are more, but Semi Saiginar he was They play a lot of carob and billiards and different other cues of all. So. But that, that's a very well-known name, actually. Okay. Yeah, the- Turkey, I think we are not so much familiar with snooker. We watch it, but I don't. I have never seen any uh, snooker table, so I have never played. But I like to watch. I think it's it's very. Solomon, I, I was a 
uh, fan of Sullivan before. Oh yeah, no, I've met one of Sullivan, he's a character, but you know, I grew up, he was so good at 16 years of age and um, phenomenal player. And his mental side of things lets him down at times, he's always moaning about it, but he doesn't really care about Snoop, oh. which is not the case mm -hmm. because he, he, when he plays, he, he beats most players. Um, and you've got, you know, Judd Trump and, and John Higgins. And you've got players, I'm 48 now, when you've got John Higgins and Mark Williams who are still playing at a very high level. Cool. And a lot of the Chinese players are coming through and John Higgins and Mark Williams and Bonnie O'Sullivan is 47. They're still dominating the game. So um, the standard is very high at the time being. Yeah, you're right. Okay, uh, so thank you for the nice conversation. It's nice to know also uh, on your side and uh, thanks for watching as well. Uh, we will do the planning uh, right now. We will go downstairs and do the planning and we will a little bit talking there too. Uh, okay, thank you.